friends, today is Monday and you are in my studio. Like usual, we will create something very fast in 15 minutes watercolor video. Today our subject is that. This is a beautiful flowers. In my book Color at Water you can find the lesson about the negative space. And for my feeling the negative space is the most important part of the watercolor painting. Because all the process is just thinking by the negative space. All the time. We have white paper and all what we're doing all the time we just put the shadows and dark colors on the light paper. That means we have to think by the negative space. That's why it's a very important idea. In that book you can find a lesson about that, as well like a video course on my website watercoloronline.com. We have a beautiful subject. I'm already made a sketch. And today I'm going to use my echo palette, brush, calligraphy Chinese brush, and a few colors from the Daniel Smith. We talk about the colors a little bit late. The sketch is pretty simple. Like you know, normally I prefer to paint uh, with a more simple sketch or directly on the paper, but this time to explain what I'm doing, it's better to make the sketch first. I will use just a few colors for that. The mine color will be Perian Violet, that's one of my favorite colors, as well like a deep, Queen of Credon Deep Gold, a little bit Cobalt, and all that colors will be enough for for the flowers. Maybe just maybe a little bit sub green. I'm gonna use the dry brush a lot. Like usual we starting to paint from the lighter parts and slowly go into the shadow part of the painting. Because I know you will ask me after I'm use the the paper what I'm use mostly in my painting, this is the Arches Rough paper. For now I'm starting to mix a little bit quinacridone deep gold inside my Purine Violet. That's make the color look very sweet. and just a little bit sub green just to make it a little bit more interesting
So look, we create the light part and now we start into thinking by the negative space. All that we will do after that around help us to build and create the shape of the part of the flowers. For instance, here, to make the shape of that leaf, you see, uh, before I don't care about the shape exactly. But for now, if I want to create the shape of that leaf, I have to make this darker. So that's what I'm doing. And with the same way, I create the shape of that white part. Here, so all together, help me to build the shape what I'm looking for. I mean, the idea is this leaf is a background for that. And we can see that leaf because of the darker shape behind. For now I'm starting to use a little bit natural tint to make it a little bit darker. and this shadow create the shape of that leaf so it's like a game one one leaf is a background for the second one and one by one we create all of them A little bit wash out to make some highlights.
and now I'm starting to create the parts in the center of the flowers. For that I switch to the mostly mix between Queen Credon Deep Gold from the Daniel Smith. By the way, it's the really really nice color. <clears throat> Very rich yellow. And uh, I will mix that with a Purine Violet as well. See, honestly, it's pretty hard to mix the yellow color like that because it's not simple. It's very rich and deep and I just love it and I'm using this a lot. And because today we're talking about the neg negative space, you can see like uh, all the parts of the flowers. And that's why I choose the that kind of flowers, because that's very visible. A lot of finished shapes of the, of the parts, and it's very easy to understand how to create that. For instance, if we will talk about the roses, they are most, more softly, and it's not exactly visible like for the dead flowers. So on that example you can see how the negative space works to create this object.
and the last and the most important step to finish with that. Like you can see on the picture, the flowers look pretty dark. How to make it look like a light pink, almost white? For this, again, we're gonna use the negative space. We create the background, and this background finishes the picture. First, I switch to my favorite brush from the goat. And in the beginning, I'm gonna use just a clear water to make the background wet a little bit, but not everywhere. Just, I need it just around the flowers. Because I'm planning to use the dry brush a lot for the background too. So I need it just soft touching because that gives me a little bit more time to create my background. And for now I'm gonna mix the same colors but the mine color will be neutral tint plus I will play with a deep gold and pure violet. So now we will see how the background change our picture. Like you can see I'm starting to create the shape of the flowers just by the negative space, just by the background. Like I say, I'm going to use the dry brush. I like that special effect on my background here. To make that nice detail here I have to switch to the smaller brush. Back to a big brush again. Continue to create shape with a calligraphy brush because we again have a nice details there and also I'm starting to mix a little bit cobalt inside my background to make it look better. And now we can switch to the big brush again.
and soft touching just to connect our picture to remove the strong boards just so blending it together So like you see, this is a very simple exercise, but that exercise explains how is important the negative space. Remember how my flowers uh, look before I put the background. The background change everything and make it look bright and light. So like I say, the exercise is about the negative space and all the explanation how to use the negative space. You can find on my website on online lessons, watercoloronline.com, as well like in my book colored water by the way from the monday this book available on amazon.com thank you for watching and be safe